Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually going to be going from 0 to 100 on a project. We're going to be trying to build a small little patrol slash gunboat, and um, we're going to do it all in one video. So this thing is going to be armed with at least one auto cannon, and um, it's going to move, so that's it. Anyway, let's get to it, shall we? Alright, so I'm actually going to go ahead and take you guys on the first little bit with me. So we're going to go ahead and try and figure out how big we want the front end to actually be. Now, uh, because it's my boat, I'm going to go ahead and make it not very big uh, at all, really. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do this down to there, and that is going to be the bottom of the boat. There we go. That seems about right, so we'll go with that. What I'm going to do now is actually make a bit of a boat shape, and then I'll be back with you guys very soon. Alright, so there we go. I've actually made the front of the hole just like so, and honestly, I don't think this looks too bad at all, actually. Uh, what we're going to do from here is we're actually going to add a bit of a, uh, like a bump. I don't know what you actually call this, but essentially like a float uh, that goes around the top end, because I feel like that'll actually make this look really cool. So, that is what we are going to work on right now. There we go. Delete all of the interior, because we obviously... Uh, don't need that to be full of anything. There we go. We're then going to go ahead and do these guys down to... I don't actually know where down to. Probably there. There we go. Good. We're then going to go ahead and grab this guy. And we're going to continue this out and over the edges. Um, just like so. There we go. That actually looks really, really cool. So, I'm going to go ahead and build this in. And then I'll be back with you guys very soon. Okie dokie, there we go. That actually looks pretty sick to me, so we're going to go ahead and keep it as it is. And we're going to go ahead and delete all of these guys on the bottom. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and do that again. I know that seems a little bit strange, but that is what we're going to do. We're then going to go ahead and do this, and that is going to be our new uh, bottom of the boat. Yes, it is. Okay, very nice. So, now that we've got this done then, we need to figure out how long we actually want this thing to be. And then we can go from there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go ahead and grab this guy right here and we're going to go ahead and drop it by about two. There we go. We then need to do the rest of it as well so that it all drops by about two and that should look pretty awesome. So grab this guy right here, flip it all over, do that down to there like so. We're then going to go ahead and do the same thing on this side. There we go. Very nice. And that does leave this area a little bit strange looking, but that's okay. In fact, actually, get rid of this bit right here. And possibly even a lot of this as well. And then we can actually build the uh, the bridge, I guess we're going to call it, the bridge into here somewhat. Yes. All right, so there we go. Now we've got a bit that comes down. That is pretty awesome. This is where the bridge bit is going to go. And then backwards from there, we're actually just going to have the back of the boat. So uh, I'm going to build that. Okie dokie, so this is where we are currently at. Obviously, I've added a bit of a bridge to this thing, and it doesn't actually look too bad. Uh, with that being said, we now need to actually add a roof to this. We need to add a deck on the back, and we also need to add engines and stuff as well. There's still a lot to go, but it is looking pretty good. And this is where we are currently at, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I would say that it is a little bit uh, lacking right here in terms of how much floatiness we're actually going to be able to get out of this, but uh, hopefully it does actually have enough. I'm assuming it does, I really don't know, but uh, there's not much else I can really do uh, in trying to actually make this work, other than just, I don't know, letting it happen and see what, what happens, I guess? Um, so let's go ahead and see what happens when we, uh, when we actually put this thing into the water. Bam! There we go, I mean it floats, so that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and jump down here. And have a little sit on the front. Yeah, no, that actually works. Go ahead and get to the back end. And yeah, we can sort of stand around back here too. Nice. Okie dokie. So now we actually have some engines installed as well, which is uh, a little bit crazy because things are moving so fast. Like things are moving really, really quick. Uh, it is worth mentioning there isn't actually any um, fuel for these right now. So we're going to go ahead and turn on infinite fuel. Let's go ahead and jump in. Go ahead and turn this on. Which should start the engines. Throttle up, which also works for the engines. And go. Steering is inverted, but it does work. There we go. Lovely. Nice. Okay, sick. It's working, guys. It's working. All right, there we go. So this is what we currently have. Let's go ahead and jump on board and get this thing moving. So turn the engine on and then do this to actually drive it. I'm assuming it's going to work. Here we go. Okay, I mean, it's running. It is actually moving along quite nicely. You can then get to the front via this bit right here, where you can just walk through. 
and then you'd get on the gun and you'd start annihilating everyone. So all we need to do now, kind of, is add the gun. Okay, so uh, how about we do this somewhat together? So we're going to go ahead and delete this guy right here. We're going to get ourselves a pivot if we can. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab one of these. There we go. Awesome. And essentially just shove that right there like so. From there, we're actually going to go ahead and build out sideways a little bit. We're then going to delete these guys. We're going to grab this and we're going to put it on there like so. I know that seems a little bit strange, but that is what we're going to do. I'm then going to attach this to there like so. And that is actually fine. Um, from there, what I need to do is actually raise this up quite a bit. So instead of that being right there, let's go ahead and do one, two, and then attach this guy onto the top like so. Actually, just one. No, two. Let's do two. Uh, from there, we're actually going to go ahead and do this. Uh, da -da -da -da, over to the side, and that is A-OK. -okay. Um, from there, we need an auto cannon. Here we go. And I would love it if these guys weren't actually as big as they are, but they are huge. So... Uh, unfortunately, we're just going to have to deal with it for now. We're going to put that guy right there like so. And we're going to go ahead and put one of these guys off to the side. There we go. It sort of has to go like that, so that is how we're going to do it. Uh, from there, we're going to get ourselves a handle. And essentially, that's just going to smack itself onto the back like so. And that is how we're going to use this gun. Hood is also another thing that we could add. Here we go, just like so. And honestly, that makes it look a little bit better. There we go. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and give these guys a little bit of electricity each. Go ahead and attach the electricity to, the, to there for now. And um, make this work. So spacebar actually fires the gun. Uh, electricity's already there. We're going to have A and D go left and right. And we're going to have W and S go up and down. Let's see if this works. Alright, so we're on the boat. So let's go ahead and turn side to side. And up and down. There we go. Lovely. Look at that. So, we've built a gunboat. That is um, that is essentially what we wanted to do. Uh, our left and right is actually inverted, though, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that real quick. And then once we've done that, we should be good to go. Bam! There we go. Merge this with this. Go ahead and put A and D on there. And voila! And there it is. Okay, so we made ourselves a gunboat. And uh, all of the engines do work. I've actually gone ahead and put fuel inside this thing now as well. Uh, and I've also attached the battery to everything as well. So, it does actually work under its own power. So it drives by itself. Um, it also, oh, hold on. There you go, it drives by itself. Um, it fires, it works. Everything is uh, mighty fine and I'm actually really happy with it. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go ahead and turn left a little bit. I need to put a clamp on that, but other than that, it's okay. There we go, lovely. Nice guys, we did it. Okay, so it actually needs a little bit of an interior, so let's go ahead and box this off real quick. Try and put a little bit of an interior on this, add some seats and stuff like that, and then we can go from there. Okie dokie, so let's get ourselves a door. I think this is like the best way to start this, I, I think anyway. So let's go ahead and try and put this into here about there. There we go, so let's delete this from here going backwards to there, that's good. Uh, we can then shove this guy onto there like so, which is... Uh, fine, actually, that's A-OK. -okay. Uh, and then I guess we just build it across and that'll be it. So let's do this down to here. There we go. Awesome. Um, and that doesn't look too, too bad. But what I would like to do is actually go to this side and extend it out a little bit. I'm not entirely sure how much by, but just a little bit. So let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Up to there. We'll then do this guy right here. There we go. And actually, that's probably it. There we go. So I had one of these windows directly into the back end like so, so we can see out the rear. And that's pretty cool. That is really cool, actually. We're then going to do this. Actually, no. Let's just do this instead. Boop. There we go. And yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so I've had a, actually added a bit of an interior into this thing. We've got a flare gun right there. We've got a passenger seat. In fact, we've got two. We have a fire extinguisher down there. We have some stuff back here as well. And we also have some dials now as well for the battery, the speed, and also the fuel. And uh, we've also got some guns, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can then have a heater as well. You could get through here onto the front, and that is fine. Uh, all we need now on the interior is actually some lights, and um, that's pretty much it. Okay, so this is where we are currently at. I've actually decided to paint the main bit white, which uh, might be a little bit strange. I've added these guys right here because I felt like that made sense to do so. Uh, I've added lights to the interior so we can actually see. Uh, we've got spotlights on the front and the back. We also have navigation lights. We have a key button to start the engine. We have the throttle for the engine as well. 
Uh, I do feel like we need something going on right here, but I'm not entirely sure what. Uh, if we go outside, we've actually got this light right here, which we can turn on outside. We can sit in this little seat over here. We can sit in this little seat over here. We've got a fire extinguisher. We have a hose. We have a way of connecting an electrical cable, or we can refuel our tank, which is nice. Uh, we have these little winches right here as well, which we can use. And um, that is actually pretty much it. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to add some ropes into the side so we can use those. Um, and I think that might actually be it. Okay, so I believe this is actually where we're going to leave it today. As you guys can see, there is a little bit of water getting on the deck, but that's okay because it is the rear deck and it's a little bit lower, but that's all right. So if we go forwards, we obviously got this light right here, and I've done a little bit of a checkerboard right here. On the inside, I've actually decided to go with, uh, to go with this instead. Now, I know it's not the best, but it doesn't look too bad, so we're going to go ahead and keep it. Anyway, let's go ahead and check that it does actually work right now. Here we go. Do this. Do this. Turn those on. Let's go. Yeah, nice. So the last thing that I actually probably need to do is actually add a bit of a clamp to the steering. Uh, but other than that, everything else actually seems to work fine. So there you go. Anyway, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video or you like videos like this one where I pretty much get the entire thing done in one video, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try and do a few more. Uh, and hopefully we'll get better and better as we go, and that'll be awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.